we've got our notice to guests and our fire exit. I don't think anybody really looks at that. Where am I? I forget where I am. I drove an hour and a half to the very top of the middle of the state, Lake Okeechobee, and that's not it. That's just a little swamp of which there are many in Florida. And there's a raised, what's behind there, a dam? Hmm, maybe a landfill. Lots of those. I'm feeling better. Not a lot better, but a friend of mine just wrote me from uh, Pittsburgh area. Slip and fall, recovery, therapy, surgery. Maybe he needs a Q-tip up his ear. <laughs> what the heck is that thing doing there? Comfy bed, $85 a night. One outlet for the microwave. If you want to plug your laptop in, you got to move the potato chip out of the way. That's not my potato chip. What can you do? Got a crappy little fridge, a $49.95 fridge that barely kept my few items cold. Just kept them from getting warmer. We've got a 99 cent clock radio by the bed that was not plugged in. It's useless junk garbage to try to use it. Got a power bar that, in my opinion, should be screwed or clamped to the bed frame, which I'm going to pause this video for a second and clear my throat. Uh, this is feeling a little better today. I know you care, and so do I. Well, that is an improvement. Still hurts, but it's getting better little by little on my Florida vacation. Anyhow, so we've got these massive made in Vietnam bed frames that you walk by and clunk right in the shin. I'm going to show you what's cooking here. Got some crappy brass door handles that are loose. Check this out. We've got a wall mounted toilet. I hope they got the big plate installed behind the 2x4s on the other side. But, you know my feelings about escussion plates. What the heck is this? Let's see if you can figure out what that is. I know what, exactly what it is. Yeah, it's a clamp, but clamp for what? And what's it doing? Holding the gooseneck, which is installed too low. I once did a shower kit like this. I installed the gooseneck in the ceiling because I stand here. I got to duck down to get water. So... That clamp is a stress relief clamp that they put on the back of a range oven electric stove to hold the big power cord from pulling out. And most people don't even install them. It's so rinky dink. What's it doing on the shower gooseneck? I don't know. I guess the plumber didn't use a drop ear to install the shower up pipe. Not a lot of water pressure. Handles loose, typical. The shower is very narrow, very narrow. We've got this huge grab bar, which intrudes on your shower space. Got this mat, which I'm sure has its share of hoof and mouth disease or athlete's foot. No ceramic tile in the bathroom. Yes. Got a towel bar that's way up high with little screws. The previously mentioned wall mount toilet with the water break, air break, air gap. Did you know that? That's air in there, right there. That's open. We got some plumbing. You got the nine, 99 cent P-trap. And the escussion plates. Yes. We love rusty escussion plates. Monster gap in the ceramic tile. And a commercial drain grid strainer. Delta style faucet. Handles not loose. Not much to report. Not much to report. Nice hotel, it was quiet, nice view. And I've got all my stuff packed up and I'm heading to Boca Raton to a car show. Because that's the way you get better, unless you have to recuperate in a hotel. Wow, this is a wide hallway. We could have drag races down this hallway with soapbox cars. Interesting. Alrighty, I'm all packed up. I'm gonna put my finger on the stop button and put this video on YouTube. I should have made some videos of the track days that were having Trans Am historic 1970 style races. So see you at the next car show.